BLM got chased out of Bethel, Ohio yesterday by four different biker clubs. So all lives matter or white lives matter are racist, but black lives matter isn't? Psh, I'm sick of this race stuff. Where's the KKK at? We need them more now than ever to get everything back under control. <laughs> oh, you know something's wrong when you're relying on the KKK. What's going on, Modderchodes? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot post from r slash I am a total POS. Let's get into it. A 16-year-old girl lied that she was sexually assaulted on the bus. The 62-year-old man she pointed at was beaten to death. Police watched CCTV. She clearly made it up. <laughs> what? What? Well, I mean, I hope since at least the police figured out that she was lying, that she gets her fair share of jail time. But what did she even get out of that? Like, what did she think was going to happen to this poor old man that did absolutely nothing? Like, does she just think that's funny? I can breathe because I'm not a criminal. <laughs> what? Guys, we all know that there's been plenty situations where non-criminals have died because of cops. It's unfortunate, and this person is an absolute a-hole for suggesting otherwise. She's crying because she was caught, not because he died. No, she's definitely proud, and you should too. That dude deserved what he got. Well, what he did to himself. He was weak. This world is overpopulated and needs extermination of the weak. You should be thanking her. Worship her. She's cleansing the world in her own way, you see. <laughs> yeah, okay, so if everybody goes by that, then you're probably one of the people that's going to end up being targeted. So you might want to think twice before you say the world needs extermination because everybody thinks they're one of the people that would stay. But people like you, yeah, you're the ones that would be gone quick. <laughs> Dear Sloot, after 60 years as a huge Lakers fan, I now say to hell with the overpaid traders and the NBA. Go to hell and join Kobe Bryant. <laughs> well, yeah, let's just trash on people that aren't here to defend themselves. You're real awesome for that, buddy. I don't care what message you were just trying to get across or whatever your point was. It's completely ruined by trashing on somebody who literally isn't alive to defend themselves you're a scumbag grave of enslaved african man vandalized in retaliation after uk statue toppled british officials said thursday the grave of an enslaved african man has been vandalized in an apparent retaliation attack after protesters in the city of bristol toppled the statue of a prominent slave trader <laughs> yeah, guys, seriously, some statues really aren't there for the right purpose. Like, yeah, sure, they were put up a long time ago. That doesn't mean they need to stay up. Now, I'm not saying go out and destroy statues that you don't agree with, because obviously that's not how you go about things. But I can definitely see how people would want to topple the statue of a prominent slave trader. Can't you? Hey, mom, I have a question. Okay, sweetie, what is it? You know, smoking kills a lot of people. I don't want to lose you, since I already lost dad. Yes, I'm so sorry, honey, but it's not that easy. If I get 1.5 million followers on my Instagram page, will you promise me you'll stop smoking? I'm so close to the goal, mom. Make it 1.6 million and I'll stop. Okay, thanks, mommy. I love you. OMG, help to get her mom to stop smoking by helping her to 1.6 million followers. <laughs> oh, I feel bad that the only way this mom is going to stop smoking is if this daughter gets famous because she smokes. Like, if your kid is really that concerned about you, you should definitely take a step back and go, huh, yeah, you know what? Maybe I do want to be there for my kids longer than the next five years. And if I stop smoking now, that'll give my body some time to recover. But no, you'd rather just smoke your life away and say F your kids and leave them early. Yeah, you suck. 
Patient dies after family members unplug ventilator to plug in cooler at Coda Hospital. Since it was very hot in the isolation ward, his family members bought an air conditioner the same day. <laughs> hey, I wonder what this plug does. Ah, it's probably not important. It's only hooked up to this beeping thing. Unplugs it. Hey, uh, why is it making a noise like me? Oh, well, at least I'm cool. <laughs> oh my God, how stupid are you? Twitch streamer banned after destroying phone and placing cat in microwave. A child has been banned on Twitch after he filmed himself trying to charge his phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this dude takes his cat, yucks it in the microwave, and thinks, ah, well, this isn't going to get me in trouble. <laughs> What's the point of that? Is he trying to blow up his cat? Oh, <laughs> most men condone and secretly want to sexually assault someone. Mm, that's definitely not true. <laughs> Don't know where you got that idea from, but categorizing things as most men or most any this or any that is a great way to divide people and really not get your point across. So next time, why don't you say crappy men condone and secretly want to sexually assault people? Not most men. Very different. He is not my type. I'm a 26-year-old woman, and my parents died when I was 14 years old. I dropped out of school because no one could afford to pay my fees. I met a guy when I was 16, and he sent me back to school. He sold fruit on the street so that he could pay my school fees. He later got a job as a truck driver and sent me to university. I'm now working as a lawyer. My problem is that I feel I can't continue with this relationship because this guy is not the type of man I would like to marry one day. How best can I tell him that he's not my type without hurting his feelings? I'm grateful that he sent me to school, but I can't be in a relationship with him anymore. I want somebody in my own class, not a truck driver. Please help. Oh, you're kidding me with this. I hope this is a joke. So this guy goes out of his way to help you, and you go, eh, now that I'm a lawyer, because this guy helped me, well, I can't be with him anymore because he's just a truck driver. You wouldn't even be a lawyer if it weren't for this guy. Like, are you kidding me? And I guess, yeah, it's better if you're really this awful of a person to break it off with him or even if you just really didn't have feelings for him and it has nothing to do with the fact that it's a truck driver. Like, still, oh, am I the a-hole for getting a lemonade stand closed down to help my daughter? For the last two weeks, my daughter, who's 12, has been running a lemonade stand. She set up the stand on our lawn. She also sells chip bags and cookies, as well as water. Our house is right off a of bike trail, so she gets a lot of business. For the last few days, another kid, who I don't recognize, has been selling lemonade down the street. I'm not sure how old he is, but he looks to be about eight. His mom has been with him. Now my daughter is getting less business. A couple hours ago, I went over to talk to the mom. I asked them politely to move their stand to another street so that they wouldn't take away from my daughter's business. The mom told me that they live a couple miles away and that this spot was by far the best spot. She said that there was enough business to share this space. She also said that people in her neighborhood aren't as generous and don't have as much to spend. This wasn't an acceptable answer to me. There's a local ordinance that doesn't allow for lemonade stands or other little businesses on public property. I called the non-emergency number and the police just came and told the kid and his mother that they'll have to move. Now my daughter has the street all to herself. I told my husband about this and he said that I should have just let it go. He also told me that it would have been a good opportunity to teach my daughter to share. I think it is unfair to expect her to share with some kid that doesn't even live in the neighborhood. What? So basically you're saying you call the cops on this eight year old kid for doing the same thing that your 12 year old kid is doing. What? Like, oh, this is how the real world works. Like you ever notice how there's always two gas stations right next to each other? Yeah. Same thing happened with your lemonade stand, lady. Teach your kid a life lesson and get over it. Don't teach them, oh, 
if anything doesn't go your way, just call the cops and they'll make it all better for you. Like, oh, I feel so bad for this freaking other little kid. He was just trying to make some extra change to go buy a toy and he got absolutely screwed by this Karen. So if anybody finds out who that kid is, maybe start a GoFundMe or something for him because that's just awful. All right, Matter Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash I am a total POS. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.